One of the jewels of the city of Vincent, the Beatty Park Leisure Center was built in 1962 for the Commonwealth Games, where the legendary Murray Rose and Dawn Fraser won eight gold between them. Champions, legends and royalty have graced the park, including current day local heroes. One of many millions who have swum her waters over the years is Richard Pace. I'm Richard Pace. I'm married. I'm a father of two. I'm a grandfather of four. Married for nearly 40 years. I've had a very interesting life with a lot of challenges and I've had the greatest adventure anyone could ever have. Beatty Park has been a part of my life for a long time. The pool itself has changed my life and the quality of life that I've been able to have by going there. I'm 64, you know, that's nearly 30 years since I was supposed to be in a wheelchair. And that's only, in my view, because I'm in the pool every day. I was diagnosed with polyostotic fibrous dysplasia. It's a bone disease. It's in the right-hand side of my body. What was it like? I was four. I didn't know, except it was really scary when I looked into my parents' eyes when I was going into surgery. I can remember going under as a little kid of four and five, getting a needle, and not expecting to wake up from it. I didn't really understand it. That's, I have vivid memories of that when I was very young. I was an ethnic kid. I was very small. I wore big glasses. I always say I used to wear Coke bottles on my eyes. They were that thick. And from the early ages, I remember getting my glasses taken off me and smashed. I didn't have a lot of friends. You know, so my school life wasn't very happy and I didn't belong, if you know what I mean. When I was young, I missed out on everything. I watched the world. I didn't participate in it, which was also very challenging. It was lonely. He was born with a bone disease and he has no control over it. But he said to me, he believes deeply that he created it because he said if he created it, then he has the ability to be able to fix it. I've had in my lifetime between 80 and 100 surgeries. We got married in February 1983 and in August 1982 he had big major surgery to his hip um, and he had a cast from here, down to here, down to his knees. I um, spoke to my specialist at the time and, um, and said, will I get better or something I can't remember. And I remember the message he gave me is, look, you've had a really good run. You know, I think it's time you got used to being in a wheelchair. I think that he was exhausting things that he'd done previously and wasn't getting a whole lot better convinced him to go to Beatty Park. And I think very quickly he probably realised the benefits. So he's been doing it ever since. I started feeling something that I never felt before. It wasn't immediate, but it was a feeling of well-being. It was a feeling of strength and physical wellness. Something that I didn't feel when I was young.
when I'm in the water, I feel focused on swimming, nothing else. It's almost like meditation when you, all you've got is a line, yourself, and you're counting the laps. I quite often say that I get into the pool every morning and I feel awful, you're out of bed, you fight yourself to get out, but I've never felt bad when I got out of the pool. The people that I mix with, my pool family, it's evolved into some great friends of mine and have a lot of laughs and a lot of fun too, so it's a great way to start the day for me. And he surfaces suddenly up beside us like a spouting whale. He's very funny. Oh, his dolphin move, you mean? Oh, look, it really is annoying. Well, I call him a dugong. <laughs> he thinks he's good, so we just allow him to think he's good. Yeah, that's, that's about Richard in a nutshell. He thinks he's good. There's such a great um, community in the morning in the pool. And you know that I'm probably the rudest person you've ever met. And I say the rudest things to people down there and they give it back to me and every one of us will do anything for each other. So I've met some great people um, and you know, and all walks of life. I'm still walking, okay? People will say you call that walking, but I'm still getting around on two legs. The, um, in some manner, and I keep expecting to. Living is hard. Doesn't matter, okay, I've got a story, everyone out there's got a story. I hope that people will look at my story and say, wow, I mean, oh, there is hope for me. I just have to persevere. And everyone can. If I can, everyone can. Everyone has problems. The only difference between everyone and me is you can see mine.